Hello, uh, this is Janny Frank from www.jannyfrank.com and I've come up to my little yellow studio to talk you through the next part of July 2003's Creative Being prompt. Um, and there's hopefully a bit of cluage going on here because um, my little yellow studio doesn't look very yellow at the moment. And this is the clue um, to the next part of the prompt. Now, we've been looking this month and over the last few days since the start of July at the different colours of the spectrum of the rainbow of the colour wheel. And there have been some fantastic things popping up on the group, um, pictures of rainbows and things that are rainbow coloured and spotting contrasting or complementary colours. And it's been a lot of fun. And if you haven't watched the first video tutorial for this month, do pop along and watch it and join in because you can always join in. The next part of this Creative Being Challenge or prompt for this month is um, to start exploring the colours one by one, which is why I am decked out. Uh, my hair is, is already quite quite fixed for this prompt and um, I have dressed specially in the first colour of the spectrum which is red um, to take you through this prompt, this next bit of the adventure for July, the creative being adventure. And what it is is that I am challenging you to have a red day. So this is a practice where you immerse yourself completely in the colour red for a whole day, as completely as is practical uh, with the rest of your life going on. But things that you can do is obviously wear red. Um, you can wear all red top to toe or perhaps just a little accessorising um, or partly red or as much red as you feel comfortable with. Um, the more the better. And uh, do take some photos and share them with us of you all dressed in red and funky. Please do. And as you go through the day, you're noticing things that are red, you're looking for red related activities, um, maybe somewhere that has a name that has the word red in it or lends itself to that. You could perhaps watch Gone with the Wind because um, that has Scarlet O'Hara in it. And um, you can, there's lots and lots of films, in fact, that, that have the colour red or the name red in them. So there's lots and lots. In fact, there's even three colours red, which I would highly recommend. Fantastic French film. And so through your red day, you're going to do as many red things as you can. So whether it's taking your camera or your journal or sketchbook. My journal is pink, actually. was well, kind of red. Um, take it with you and notice and draw and write about things that you see that are red or how the colour red is making you feel because you will find a, an effect on your mood. Um, you can write about all sorts of thoughts that come up as you explore this colour through your day. You can also eat red food. <laughs> um, I, when I do a red day, eat only red food um, and it's a lot of fun. Um, red Leicester cheese is allowed by the way, just, just saying. And, um, but you can perhaps make jelly. Oh, yum. Strawberry jelly. Um, you can eat apples that are red, which is, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's yummy. Mm. Also, drinks that are red, as I'm in the UK, this is one we love in the summer. We love Pims and Lemonade. Um, I'm talking about a mouthful. Mum isn't watching, hopefully. Sorry, Mum, if you're watching, I'm very sorry. I want you to get them, sorry. So you can make jelly, you can eat tomatoes, apples, red Leicester cheese, and other things that are red. Take photographs of your food. Perhaps, um, if you can't eat red all day, perhaps just do a red meal. Or notice the colour red in the meals that you do eat. Have some red drinks. Uh, watch some red related films, listen to some red music. Kate Bush's Red Shoes would be one I would recommend. And journal about the colour red, wear the colour red and really immerse yourself in the colour red for a whole day as much as you can and record the experience. Now, aside from being lots and lots of fun and giving you an excuse to eat yummy apples, I'll finish it when I'm done though. Um, the purpose of this practice is to get you used to really immersing yourself in a theme and for creative uh, development 
this idea of completely immersing yourself in your subject matter is extremely powerful practice and it is very inspiring and it connects you with your themes and your ideas in a really strong way so that new things will come up that you would never think of if you just sat for five minutes thinking about the color red so I'm hoping that all sorts of interesting thoughts and perhaps poetry, writing, photographs. You could do a performance piece all dressed in red. We haven't had a performance piece yet, so there's a good challenge for somebody. Um, and just really kind of deep into this theme for the day. And I will be doing a red day as well and posting my photographs from that. So um, I can cheat a lot because there's a lot of red at the art house already. So do share in the Creative Beings Facebook group. Um, do join if you aren't already part of it. You can also tweet out what you create using the hashtag Creative Beings. And if you tag me with a little at Janny Frank, I will give you a retweet so lots of people can see what you've been doing. And share it with me, send me an email, visit my website at www.jannyfrank.com and just stay in touch, share and connect. And I can't wait to see all of the pictures and results of your red days, lovely creative beings. So this is me, Janny Frank from www.jannyfrank.com and I'm signing off and wishing you a very red day. <laughs>